hailing from the world of Fire Emblem Awakening, Frederick is a veteran fighter who takes care of the young Krom, Lissa, Robin, and their allies. Now, in the world of Fire Emblem Warriors, this no-nonsense knight brings his axe, mount, and heavy armor to battle in defense of their cause. Let's jump right in and see what Frederick can do. Frederick's standard attack string consists of seven strikes. He will sweep his axe from back to front, slam it down again, bash forward with his shield, thrust to the front, spin his horse and slash to the right, dash forward again with a big slash from the right, and then finish with a big slam forwards. Like most mounted characters, Frederick's standard attack string incorporates a lot of forward momentum with each strike, but similar to the mountain mages Leo and Elise, this attack string lacks a bit of area damage, with many of its hits being directed to his front. This is common compensated somewhat by Frederick's very large presence, as the hitbox on all of these swipes is inflated by Frederick's mount also joining in on the assault. All things considered, this is a very well-balanced standard attack string. Next up is his heavy attack, which, when used, will make Frederick do a quick spin and slash with his axe. If you hold down the button, Frederick will grab an unfortunate enemy with his axe and drag them along the round until you let go of the button or the attack ends. This simple strike leads into a thick line of damage as you plow through your enemies and eventually pitch the most unlucky soldier in the world off of your weapon. While this isn't the greatest heavy attack or anything, it is unquestionably viscerally satisfying and is good to throw in from time to time just to show everyone who's boss. Moving on, Frederick's first heavy attack combo has him dash forward and strike upwards with his axe launching enemies into the air for juggling. Unlike the similar mounted melee fighter Xander, Frederick does not have any aerial attacks to concern yourself with. So the only extra thing to note here is that Frederick's dash before his attack requires a little bit of consideration before trying to initiate a juggle. You definitely don't want to miss your target because of this extra movement. For his second combo, Frederick will rush his horse in a circle while dragging his axe, encircling his foes before blowing them back with a mighty shield bash. This combo has a much larger area of effect than your average second combo. However, it has a rather long channeling time than usual to balance this out. Next up, his third combo has Frederick perform a big slash with his axe, which sends a tornado in a forward line from him. This attack, like every other third combo, is able to cause weak points to appear on enemies. However, from the way that it hits both in front of him and a bit forward, it does have some range that you can take advantage of for the same purpose. Frederick's fourth combo is another drag move, which has him cling another unfortunate enemy to his axe, swinging them up and down vertically before tossing them off. This attack does hit all around Frederick while he's dragging his foe, however, it doesn't have very good area clearing potential. While it is excellent for pouring damage into a small area or for breaking stun gauges, all in all, as awesome as it looks, this combo is really just kind of okay. For his fifth and final combo, Frederick slides forward on his horse while swiping his axe back and forth, creating damage in a thick line going in front of him. This combo follows the same pattern as his other combos, in that rather than doing circular area damage, its hitbox is more of a thick, straight line. As a mounted, axe-wielding human, Frederick potentially has a weakness to anyone with a horse killer skill on their weapon. Although, as I always mention, that is something that I have really never seen an enemy wield. One actually relevant extra weakness that Frederick does have, however, is to magic users. Being a heavily armored character, Frederick has a natural slight disadvantage against magic users, something which is compounded by his extremely low magic defense. You'll want to keep him away from magic users at all costs. Frederick does have two extra bonus attacks when dashing with his horse. The first, standard dashing attack, causes him to slide and spin his force while adding in one axe slash himself, traveling quite a ways forward. His alternate heavy dashing attack causes him to move forward quite a ways, this time while slashing his axe three times. This is another combo which can carry a weak foe with you as you attack. These dash attacks, while similar, differ mainly in momentum. It is much easier to transition back to running with the standard dash attack, meaning that it can be easy easily repeated to do several slides through your enemies, and with this, it could very possibly be his best area clearer. The heavy dash attack, on the other hand, is better for bringing yourself to a halt, most likely so that you can focus on finishing off a nearby enemy. Oh, and speaking of his dashes, it should be noted that Frederick has a slightly increased marching speed of 10 due to his mount. This means that he is twice as fast as your average ground unit, but this marching speed is actually the lowest of any mounted character. Putting everything together, I get the impression that Frederick is good, but not really great. Unlike his closest reference Xander, Frederick is not a jack-of-all-trades that can do every job. His attacks are all line-based, making him
him good for charging through marching armies, but not so great at clearing out wide infested areas, like your base if it's been invaded. He has truly incredible physical defense, a good amount of strength, and a boost to his movement thanks to his mount, but his magic defense, luck, and speed, and speed here means the stat that makes your awakening gauge last longer, are the worst in the game. Basically, Frederick is situational. He works best while keeping him on the defense, utilizing his increased marching speed to ferry him to a few bases that are all nearby to each other to respond to sudden enemy charges or emergencies on the battlefield. This is if, however, those enemies who are charging you aren't using magic, in which case Frederick will still be able to fight, but at a big disadvantage. Even though Frederick isn't best used for leading your army, when used in the right situations, you'll be glad to have this steel foundation of a man backing you up. Superhero. He needs a weapon.